So at the end of the last lecture, I just uh, mentioned that I might do another lecture on relating a function to its derivative. And this is a really important thing to be good at, especially if you're going to be taking the AP exam. So I decided just to go and take care of this right away. And what I did is I drew a graph to some type of scale. Like it's not perfectly to scale, but it's certainly a lot closer than what I was doing before. And I have a function f of x equals one half x to the third and I have its derivative which I'm using the lowercase f to denote and that would be 3 half x squared and I drew these out they're color coded so on and so forth so let's probe into this a little bit let's take the point 1 1 now if we sorry not 1 1 x equals 1 equals 1 uh, at x equals 1 we have 1 to the third which is 1 times 1 half so an f of, f of 1 equals 1 half our derivative of 1 1 squared times 3 half equals 3 halves so it should follow here that if we draw a line tangent to our original function that for every 2 it goes over it should go up 3 or it should go over 3 for every 2 it goes up so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 alright so I didn't draw that to scale exactly that would be our tangent line about like that. And it becomes evident that, you know, this isn't perfectly to scale, but you can see that it's pretty close. And maybe there, that looks a little bit better. Touches one point over three up two. And it matches, you know, this point right here. Now let's go and we'll take the negative one of this. Negative one in our derivative is still three halves negative one three halves well negative one on uh, the original function here our slope it's still the same it's still three halves this fits at our zero point on the derivative we have a straight line that's you know this is its tangent there if we were to pick any random point on our derivative function and evaluate it we would find that there's a line approximately, well, really, okay, phrase this a little bit differently. If we pick an, any x value for our uh, tangent function, our derivative function, the y value, the function value that it gives out is going to be the slope of the line on our original function. So knowing this, we should be able to take a graph and plot out its derivative and you'll be asked to do this on the AP exam this is a good skill to have or you'll be able to take a derivative and plot out its function so draw a graph here And we're going to say that f of x looks like this. Now we're going to want to plot out. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, pick a different color here. Now we want to plot out what f prime of x will look like. And we need to give some type of scale to this. Two, three. Okay, that makes sense. One, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And assume everything lines up nice and clean. So for the section from negative four to negative three, or negative two, what's going on here? One, two, 
one, two, three, four. We have a slope of three halves. So on this range from negative four to negative two, we have a consistent slope at three halves. Remember, this is the y value that comes out at our derivative here. So we're going to have a straight, we're gonna have a horizontal line. And this makes sense because if I were to give you the slope up, if I were to give you the function 6x, you took the derivative, you'd get 6. You'd get a horizontal line. So that makes sense right here. Now, along this line, we don't have like a clearly defined function that's going on here. We just know we have a changing slope. It's going to be very negative along here, and it's going to be a lot less negative along here. So perhaps it'll look something like this, our derivative. Notice this is a negative one, negative two, negative three. We're stretching this a little bit. If we extrapolate this line out a little bit, that looks about like, you know, one, one, two, three. And negative three right there. Now if you go over to our negative one value here, our uh, slope value comes out as negative two. And notice that we have less of a line here. So this all follows, it all makes sense. Now I'm going to do another example, we'll go the other way, we'll give the derivative and we're going to plot approximately what the original function looks like then.